So one of the things we love to share with you is what's going on at 10 Capital. Of course, when it's summertime, one of those things is summer interns. This week's commentary is part one of two, because we've got two interns on who this guy is. So to my right, your left is our summer intern, gentleman I've known for some time, Kale McKiernan. Hi everybody, excited to be here. We, uh, in the effort again of sharing what's going on here, we've gotten such great feedback from you all around that. Uh, we've got two summer interns. We'll meet Sam Lease uh, next week. This week, we're gonna highlight Kale McKernan. Uh, these are two of the guys who are helping us with our big tech changes and some of our new client experiences we're rolling out. We put these guys to work. Um, we wanted to share a little bit more about who they were with you. So if you run into them here in the office, one of the upcoming events, you can stop, say hello, uh, ask them some more questions. So Kale, you're gonna be senior at Whitworth. Yeah. What are you studying? Studying business management. Uh, plan on graduating next spring 2020 so very excited for that absolutely loved my experience there it's been a great uh, spot especially being in Spokane growing up here uh, couldn't have asked for much more so and you you mentioned you grew up in Spokane prep kid prep kid go pups all right <laughs> why did you want to intern at 10 capital well 10 capital especially for me looking through other summer internships, uh, seeing what they wanted me to do. The thing about 10 Capital that stood out to me especially was the culture and the, uh, just the region of Spokane and the community of Spokane, how it relates to the different facets, uh, different businesses, different people, all the people that move in and out of Spokane kind of understand what the culture is like here. And I think that uh, 10 Capital stood out to me because of the culture and the, especially the the personable relationships that you guys develop with clients is something that I think I could learn a lot from. So, Cool, cool. So you've been here a few weeks now. What is the thing you've enjoyed most about your internship so far? Well, first off, I've worked plenty of other jobs throughout the summers, ranging from all types, from assembly lines all the way through uh, retail. And I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to go to work. It's something that uh, it's new to me, this, uh, this business and investing, wealth management, advising and all that stuff takes so many different facets, but I really wake up in the morning and it's something that I can learn. Something that I've not, never experienced before, but uh, I'm getting better at every single day I walk in the office and I'm getting lots of help from it. So you know, We've definitely felt your energy. It's been cool. So it can be the thing you like least, it can be the thing you found most challenging, but on the flip side, what's, what's been a struggle so far, something that, uh, again, is part of that growth experience? Well, you mentioned growing, and uh, for someone new in the investment world, and obviously trying to learn the different uh, parts of an organization like 10 Capital, it's easy to get excited, and especially at 10 Capital, you guys have uh, the live mentality. It's all about kind of the long-term approach, and uh, macro mentality as you call it sometimes. So for me it's easy to get excited. Uh, learning the process and the diversification of portfolios, how you guys relate to clients and the important uh, small things in the culture here. Uh, was, was Especially for me when I'm easy to get excited I find myself uh, looking for the easy answers like uh, I can find, oh, this stock's gonna jump 200% in the next week. I could love to pitch that to you guys, but gonna kinda have to pull back on the reins a little bit. And so tempering enthusiasm yeah, and excitement. Exactly. Okay, all right, all right. Lots of things to chase, too, in terms of opportunities. We have no 200% in a week investments here at 10 Capital, just to be clear. Um, what's something that surprised you the most? What's something that you didn't expect uh, that, that's occurred or something even about the firm that you're like, well, I didn't, I didn't expect to find that here. Well, first off, how empowered I am. Uh, I walked in first day and spoke with uh, different people throughout the organization, and they want me to come in and learn. They don't want me to just come in here and work. I'm not doing coffee runs. I'm not just kind of the average. That, you might. No, we might. You might. <laughs> I can deal with it as long as I get one. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one of the really cool things I thought was, Every employee here, every person that's working here is uh, looking to get better every day. We're not just set in stone. We're not just singing a certain song. You know, 
especially in the coming years, the market's going to change, the world's going to change. And I have heard from you specifically as the head of Tank Capital that uh, you, you challenge everyone here. Everyone working underneath uh, the CEO here all the way down to summer intern is challenged to get better every day uh, because things are going to change and we've got to be able to adjust. So cool. I think it's a great mentality to have and something that I wasn't expecting, but cool. super exciting. Cool. What are your plans after school? What do you think? You graduate? What, do you, what would you like to do? Lots of things to do, but this is the right, sp uh, right spot to start. I've always a uh, management major, so I like, I like to say that management uh, concentration yeah. uh, kind of goes across a wide range of things. So uh, I've always been interested in the entrepreneurial side, uh, but it's super important to understand wealth, mm -hmm. where the money goes, uh, how to manage it, and I think uh, there's plenty of uh, possibilities in my future from uh, having experience like this. Especially. So this, indus this industry has some, some new interest for you. It huh? does, especially in the last, I've only been here two weeks like you said. However, uh, I've been very motivated to keep learning every day because I think that is something I'm very interested in and uh, something that I could grow to love. Well, we're excited to have you. Excited to be uh, here. Kale's one of two great, great guys we've got here at the firm this summer. Love to have you join us at our July event. We've got a wonderful speaker that we got to hear this week. Uh, the whole firm was moved by hearing his story. Uh, but uh, Kale and Sam will be there as well. Grab them, say hello, uh, get better acquainted, and know we've uh, got them working hard for you every day. Thanks so much.